All right, so one particular example of, of, when, uh, of when this pr problem arises in practice or when we encounter it in practice is uh, in, in the computation of, of an inner product. So uh, an inner product or a dot product or whatever you want to call it is, uh, you'll probably recall from your, your linear algebra uh, courses, is a summation i equals 1 uh, to n of x i y uh, I and and so we're just we're just multiplying each of these terms together so that'll be x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus x3 y3 plus all the way to x n y n and you can see here that that when we pre when we perform this computation we are performing an addition and another addition and another addition and another addition and we have if we have very many terms here uh, we can we can get uh, one of the problems that can arise here is this problem of, of adding and um, adding uh, two numbers that are very different in magnitude and and that can that can really really introduce a problem so one of the ways to mitigate this problem um, well we'll see that uh, if you if you look at the algorithms uh, you'll find that all algorithms aren't equal. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, to avoid uh, adding in, uh, two numbers of very different magnitude, uh, assuming that, that, that uh, numbers right next to each other are, are very um, similar magnitude, we could, we could do this multiplication, which, which, which may not be the case. Uh, we could do this multiplication, and then we could do this multiplication. So we could do all the multiplications, and then we could just add terms that are ad adjacent to each other, and then after we've added all terms that are adjacent to each other, uh, then we could add, do that again and add, add the two terms that are adjacent to each other again, and, and, and continue to do that so that we don't have this, uh, for example, if we, if we added these two, uh, this term to this term, and then we added the, the result of that term to this term, and the result of that term uh, to the next term, uh, you can see very quickly that we would be, uh, if these were very, very large and, and of a similar measure, you can see very quickly that we would be adding uh, two numbers of very, very, very different magnitude. And, and so sometimes we can solve the problem by by introducing a, a little bit different numerical algorithm for uh, the step-by-step by, step by step procedure for uh, performing the operation, which is algebraically equivalent but not numerically equivalent. Uh, we can sometimes do that, but that's not always generally possible. And so uh, the the general solution, the only general solution in, in cases like this, um, is to employ extended precision. Uh, in other words, use double or, or whatever higher precision uh, arithmetic so that uh, these, the, so that you're you're representing numbers uh, close enough together and, and of high enough precision that you don't run into the problems, uh, you, you don't run into problems uh, concerning this.